Preview. Preview. Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, there's been a 6.5 earthquake has hit China just minutes ago. Powerful quake, 6.5. And it was only 9.0 kilometers deep. It's in the mainland China. It's extremely powerful. And uh, of course, it's so remote. It's going to take some time to find out what kind of damage this thing did. But it, there's no doubt it caused some damage. Now, hopefully this was a remote, uh, an area where there's not very many population, but China's, uh, there's a large population, of course, in that country. So we just don't know, but we know this, it is powerful, it is shallow, and it could be deadly. So it's a fluid situation. We're going to stay on top of it. It may take a few hours to actually start getting some information coming in from this mega, mega 6.5 earthquake in China. I'll be back with more current world events, how they relate to biblical prophecy. Today, there's no, no broadcast at 12 noon. Instead, I will be live tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. That's 10 p.m. Eastern at uh, my website at publiclyprophecy.com. Of course, also right here on this YouTube channel. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Tropical Storm Franklin has hit the coast of Mexico in the Yucatan Peninsula. Now, the winds are packing at 60 miles an hour, but uh, as it comes ashore, uh, others, the rest of the peninsula is actually getting ready for this storm to turn into a hurricane by Thursday and hit further on in the peninsula. Actually, heavy rain is right now in Belize and Yucatan as the storm made landfall uh, late last night. Between three to six inches of rain is expected with some areas anticipating as much as 12 inches of rain. What? That's insane, but that's, all, that's what's happening. We're in the last days. You know, the Bible said, look, look at this, look at this. We got all these signs in the heavens. Jesus said in Luke 21, 25, for there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars with the stress of nations, there's North Korea, and the sea and the waves roaring. There they are. Men's hearts will fail them for fear for looking after those things coming upon the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the son of man coming in the clouds with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your heads for your redemption is drawing nigh. Now look, the Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind. But certainly not everybody's saved. Not everybody's ready. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And I think you need to start there. All right, so pray for the people of Mexico and Belize and everybody there in the Yucatan Peninsula as this storm continues to uh, make its way through that area. And there's another storm behind it. Let's see where it goes and what it develops into. We'll find out more. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. Are you saved? Okay, guys, are you serious? I'm at the uh, Atlanta airport tonight, and I just had to check this out. How to prevent Zika virus how to prevent it it's got a big board here and I thought uh, one would be avoid mosquito bites <laughs> are you serious I guess that's I guess that's true and then uh, stay in places with air conditioning or window screens that makes sense okay how about this cover exposed skin wear long sleeves and pants and socks. Although mosquitoes can bite through socks. But, all right. But wait, there's more. Uh, I think this is the one they really want. EPA registered insect repellent with DEET sold in airport shops. So, I'm really trying to understand why we would have Ladies this much of a focus on, on Zika. But do the research. 
the government wanting to give contracts and have given contracts out for hundreds of millions, and I mean hundreds of millions of dollars, to prevent a virus that is not even a threat to this country. Are you serious? Are you serious? Just, just saying. I'm just saying. I'll be back with more. Just, I just had to stop here. I just had to stop here. I just had to. I just had to do this. This is the best way, right here. Are you serious? What? Are you serious? Are you serious? Earthquakes! Earthquakes! Oklahoma! 4.2. Powerful, very shallow earthquake hits in Oklahoma this morning. Matter of fact, over the last 24 hours, Oklahoma's been really feeling a lot of shaking going on. And uh, this 4.2... Uh, really rattled, causing some minor damages in some of the people's homes. Uh, 4,600 people are without power in Edmond, Oklahoma, where this 4.2 earthquake hit. Matter of fact, uh, <clears throat> initially it was reported as 4.4 by the U.S. Geological Survey, downgraded to 4.2, but there's no question Oklahoma is shaking. And the fact the 4.2 earthquake is only 2.3 kilometers deep, which means this it, it had an, um, uh, a very powerful effect, even though it might have been a, not as strong of a magnitude as, as, as a 7.0 or something. Certainly, when they're that shallow, uh, it's going to rattle some stuff. Well, let me just tell you what else is going on, how many earthquakes are going on. We've got a lot going on. We've had 48 in the last 24 hours around the world. A 4.7 in Papua New New Guinea. Uh, We had, I'll just do the big ones. 4.2 Indonesia, 4.2 Greece. A 5.2 earthquake in India. A 5.3 in New Zealand. A 5.3 in uh, Chile. Uh, Also, we had a 5.3 in Chile again. And then a 4.7 in Peru. So the earthquakes just keep shaking. Oklahoma, and Edmond, Oklahoma, had a 3.3 earthquake hit there before the 4.2 did. So things were starting to shake. We had a 4.8 in Russia, 4.0 in Dominican Republic, 4.3 in Chile. And then uh, Edmond, Oklahoma, had a 2.6. And then Moreland, Oklahoma, had a 2.6. Both of them very shallow, around 5 kilometers. We had a 4.6 earthquake in Kyrgyzstan, and then Yellowstone, the danger zone, that super volcano in Montana. Earthquake, 2.8, very shallow, only 8.6 kilometers. Right on top of that super volcano. Are you serious? 4.4 in Fiji. Then 4.2, Oklahoma, Edmond, Oklahoma, 2.3 kilometers deep. Definitely a strong quake. And then again, Yellowstone, 2.8 and 2.6 back to back right on that super volcano. Is that thing going to blow? And uh, then we had uh, 4.5 Japan, 4.8 Indonesia, 4.4 Russia, 4.3 Peru, 4.6 Fiji, 5.3 Tonga. 4.9 4.9 earthquake in Tonga, and, uh, and things just keep shaking everywhere, okay? So, again, 46 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, and uh, we're going to continue to monitor it because Oklahoma is definitely shaking, but it's not just Oklahoma. Boom, 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 all around the world. Strong quakes. And remember, the sunspot, AR-26 65, that huge, massive coronal hole on the top of the sun's atmosphere, it is rotating back toward us now. We will be feeling the pressure from any solar flares or CMEs 
that would be released from that sunspot, wide open hole, gigantic, facing the earth over the next 10, 12 days. We, uh, you know, this could cause more tectonic plates on our earth to shift, causing earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. And so every time I see Yellowstone, 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 I'm thinking, no, and now Oklahoma. And we've got a total eclipse of the sun coming. The great American eclipse, and it's going to go right across this country on, on August the 21st. And uh, from the coast of Oregon to the coast of uh, South Carolina, America is going to fall into darkness along this 70-mile path. What does this all mean in these last days? Earthquakes and the sun turning dark and, and the moon will turn to blood. Uh, well, that's all in the book of Joel. But I do have for you Amos chapter 8, verse 9. If you're wondering about all these apocalyptic events, here's what the Bible says. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon and I will darken the earth in the clear day. Well, that's coming. We're definitely going to see that across America, August 21st. Um, and actually in the Bible, solar eclipses happen quite frequently. I mean, not frequently, but... Uh, periodically throughout the uh, Bible, and each time it was always a prophetic event. And matter of fact, I have a great DVD that I just just got finished. It is at my website. You need to place your order for it now. It is an unbelievable. It's called the Total Eclipse of the Sun, S O N, and how Satan wants to totally eclipse Jesus Christ. But in it, we talk about this great American solar eclipse. I have all kinds of PowerPoint presentation, a lot of great research that Heidi Begley did and Mike Childers putting together a powerful. I teach on this. This is the, without question, this is the best uh, DVD I've ever put together. I have historical uh, accounts of past solar eclipses, not only in historically, but biblically, and how it pertains to the end times is certainly there. Also, I talk about the September 23rd, the complete uh, alignment, the constellation, the, the, the woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet and her stars with 12, her, her crown with 12 stars, how, that, uh, how prophetically Revelation 12 is coming to pass and the other wonder in heaven, same day, that's the great dragon, the red dragon, the beast of the end time, the proclamation of the rising of the beast, the seven-headed beast, 10 horns, 10 crowns, of course, it says in Revelation 13. All of this is in this DVD, and don't forget there's an asteroid that's also coming, and that's October the 12th that's gonna come so close to the earth, it's gonna be unbelievable, it's scary, actually. It's scary, and uh, it is called Asteroid 2012 TC4. I cover all of this, in this powerful DVD, you can get it only at my website. Check it out, all right? Uh, I'll be back more with, we're going to keep watching these earthquakes. And don't miss, don't forget, today's broadcast starts at 12 noon Eastern. It will be powerful. Don't miss it on the coming apocalypse. Are you saved? Yeah.